Welcome or welcome back to Trouble with Tish. I am Tish. And, um, maybe trouble. What do you think I ordered from Beautylish? Let's find out. Oh, we're gonna open. I think it says it's packed by Jess, but um, I can't read. Well, first things first, let us find the sample. They always give us a sample. We got the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. Yeah, cleansing balm. Then we ordered I wasn't gonna order this and then it released and I saw the colors and I was just like but I need it. I need I, I need I need that. So let's get into it. I'm going to open the box here. This box is a little bit different than the other ones. There's two little flaps up here. And it just comes off. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this packaging. Um, I don't fancy trying to take that on and off every single time I get into the palette. This is what she looks like. It's got a nifty little clasp there. Okay. We have our plastic. And those are our colors. So we're going to swatch these, but first let's go through them. We have Pale in Comparison, Fashion Horror, Sliver of Sanity, Cutting Edge, let me stick my finger all up in it, Vitamin C Word, Unpeeled Pleasure, Pulp Addiction, Mysterious Circumstances, Papaya Latex, Orange Fatale, which kind of looks like it was goobered, Twisted Taste, Thorny, Forced Double crossed, unblunted, glimmer of hope, slice me open, and deadly intentions. And we're gonna swatch them. The top three shades we have. You can focus, come on. All right. Pale in Comparison, Fashion Whore, and Sliver of Sanity. Okay. We're going to turn this down a little. We have... Awesome. Cutting Edge, Vitamin C Word, Unpeeled Pleasure, and Pulp Addiction. Let's see if we can make a better swatch out of that. There we go. This is still too bright. There we go. That looks a little better. All right. We have Mysterious Circumstances, 
papaya latex, orange fatale, and twisted taste. All right, we have Thorny, Forged, Double Crossed, and Unblunted. Hello, Nurse. Yeah. Pigmented. We have Glimmer of Hope, Slice Me Open, and Deadly Intentions. Whoop. that off my finger before I touch anything else because uh yeah all right so those are the swatches and I am regretting not putting down a primer on my arms because it's definitely going to stain and not be fun to get off. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing they sent me that cleansing balm, huh? So I'm going to go clean that up and I will be right back. All right. So we are back. Um, our fingers seem a little bit stained. Arms look decent. And uh, I just so happen to, you know, prime my face and my eyes because we need to do a look, right? Uh, Renee requested a look so we're doing a look for Renee hi Renee <laughs> all right so we have primed with the um, first aid beauty coconut skin smoothing priming moisturizer I don't know if it's a moisturizer or if it's a primer but it feels nice on the skin and then we have primed our eyes with the Mac uh, paint pot in painterly we're gonna do a look I don't know what look we're going to do, but we're going to do a look. And of course, we're going to the Bass Pro Shop later to pick up a gun, so... Uh, let's try to keep it subtle, right? Like we did last time? Yeah, I don't know about subtle. I do know, however... <laughs> like, I probably thought I was crazy. All right, we're going to take um, cutting edge and put it all over the lid. And while we're doing that, we're going to try not to make funny faces. That's the goal for today. No funny faces. Wish me luck because, yeah, I'm really good at funny faces. This gives a nice, very light wash of color um, over the lid. So that is nice. Um, especially since we aren't trying to look like Jeffree Star when we go pick up the gun. Um, 
the gun was for my birthday, which was the second. Um, the only problem is, is that when we went to pick it up, they said, oh no, there's a problem. And I'm like, what do you mean there's a problem? You already told us that I'm fine. I passed the check and everything's fine, right? Oh yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, so what, what, what's the problem? I think I'm going to take Mysterious Circumstances here. And uh, come to find out, <laughs> they forgot to check the box that said I was white. Which seems fairly inconsequential, normally. However, when it comes to owning a firearm, they want every single detail. Which I get. Okay. I get that. That's not a problem. I don't have a problem giving them all my details. But when we went through the paperwork, they had the box checked. So I was a bit confused as to why it became unchecked. And they said, well, see, it's this computer over here that has this problem where it keeps on chucking boxes. And I'm like, well, if it, if you know it has the problem, well, one, why are you using it? Two, what, why, why don't they replace it? I'm like, yeah, what can, you know, what can you do? They're the only the employees. They don't have any power over what equipment gets replaced. So I'm just like, okay. I get it, but why did you have to use the equipment you knew was broken to process my stuff? Like, come on now. I don't want to wait a whole month. So, I've been waiting a whole month <laughs> to get my gun. Which, I mean, it is what it is. I will, I will wait. I'm not trying to get anybody fired and I, I'm fine with the background check. There's nothing in my background that, you know, anybody's going to be like, oh my God, don't give her a gun. But, uh, yeah. So that is what we have planned for later on today. And I think it's kind of funny because the gun is supposed to be my birthday gift this year. Well, last year we had the same problem where my gift got delayed, except for it got delayed by like four months. Uh, my husband ordered me a pallet that I couldn't afford for my birthday. I'm so excited. And we don't normally buy a gift. I don't normally ask for a gift for my my birthday so much because my birthday is the 2nd of September. My mom never had any less than five children in the house at all times. There's literally 19 of us if you count my mom's kids, my dad's kids, my stepdad's kids, and all of the adopted and foster children. Um, so there's a lot of us. And my mom had, you know, there was always a lot of kids in the house. So you got school supplies for at least five kids. And you have school clothes for at least five kids. Kmart was a, a you know, a lifesaver and all that. With that layaway, but yeah. Yeah. I just, I never... I always knew that, that we didn't have the money to be, you know, buying a bunch of frugal stuff. So I would ask for something like, you know, a cassette tape. I wanted Vanilla Ice or uh, The New Kids on the Block. And I just told you how old I am. So, uh, <laughs> you know, those are the things I wanted when I was young. And, you know, I'm... I don't know, when you grow up with a lot of siblings, you kind of learn that you're not the most important person in the room. You have to share that with everybody else that's in the room. You learn to share. And 
I don't know. I I just learned that birthdays are birthdays, you know. You get a day older or a year older, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's a birthday. But then when I got with my husband, he wanted me to make such a big deal out of his birthday. And I was like, it's just a birthday. What the heck? So I would try to make a big deal out of his birthday. Of course, his birthday falls around tax time, so <laughs> that helps. Okay, I am going to go in with double crossed right in the outer V. And so I learned that you could, you know, you could make a big deal out of your birthday. It wasn't going to hurt nobody. So I started asking for stuff that I wanted. But yeah, I, I don't know. I like birthdays and all. But to me, my favorite birthdays, my favorite birthday memories were when I turned like 12 and my mom worked all night long, right, at her job. And then she got off work. And while she was on, on the job, because she worked at a, uh, she worked at a home taking care of uh, the elderly. It was a nursing home kind of place. Um, and she baked a cake while she was, you know, working. You work overnight, all your residents are going to be mostly asleep. So she had time. She baked me a cake. And we went to pick her up as a family in the morning. And then we went out and found this little waterfall out at Mount Rainier. Kind of parked the car, tromped down to where above the waterfall where there's this like little river creek area and we found like a little grassy area down there next to the water and we had a picnic and we had cake and it was nice because I got to spend that time with my family I that's like one of my favorite birthday memories ever you know and, and I don't really remember what I got for my birthday But I do remember spending that time with my family. I like this way better than I like the blood sugar palette. This, this is beautiful. Okay. Uh, yeah. That is what I'm doing for my birthday. So I'm going to go back down for the third time to go get my gun. At the Bass Pro Shop, I think I'm going to go in with this unblunted and then glimmer of hope in the inner corner. So I don't think that it's going to work very well with a brush, but we're going to try anyways. Let's see. We're going to take you. Got a little bit of fallout with the brush but it is working. It would probably work a lot better if I got the brush wet. But so far that is what we are looking at. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go in with my finger. That's usually how I have the best results. I still have a little bit of fallout with finger. So maybe it would have been a better idea. There we go with our funny faces. I guess it's a good thing I did not do my face makeup first. Yeah, I can feel it falling down on my cheek. But that is okay. We can clean it up. Just 
just remember it is going to be a good idea to do your face makeup last. All right. Then we're going to go in with this Glimmer of Hope shade. Kind of muddy that together right there. <laughs> I am making a mess here. All right, so. See if we can fix that a little bit. All right. Going to take this uh, double crossed shade, kind of. Run it underneath here. Oh, that is a bad brush for that. Let's try this one. Definitely better. All right. This glimmer of hope in the corner here. That's not picking it up. All right, we're gonna wet the brush and see if we can make that work. a little bit. going to go off camera, clean this up, do the rest of my face, and I will be back with my final verdict. All right, so I put the pale comparison in the inner corner along the brow bone, and I used it as a highlight. Um, you can't really tell. <laughs> But we're going to see if we can punch that up just a little bit with the right brush. Let's see. If we can punch that up a little bit. Because, I mean, if we're going to glow, we need to glow. Anyways. Um, I am pretty sure 
this is like my new favorite palette. I, I was so disappointed in the blood sugar when I finally got around to using it. I was a little bit scared when I ordered this, but I love this. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to stain and I'm going to look like this for days minus the, you know, eyelashes and the face makeup, but yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm looking at all these looks I could do and like, I just, it, it's inspiring. I want to play with it. So yeah, I, I love it. Anyways, that is my unboxing and look using the Pricked Palette um, by Jeffree Star. I am, uh, I'm very happy I bought that. I'm like, I'm so excited. I want to, I want to like wipe this off and do another look like already. And I have, I have other, another look I have to film with a different palette. And I'm like, but I don't want to, I just want to play with this one. So anyways, that is my review. Uh, go ahead and like, comment and subscribe. Uh, all that stuff is down below. Um, I'll leave Jeffree Star linked below or link the palette below, whichever. I don't think it's sold out. So if you want to get your hands on it, I got mine through Beautylish. So it shipped quicker than uh, Jeffree Star ships. So I will leave all the links to the palette that I can find below. Anyways, I hope every single one of you has an absolutely amazing day. And I will see you all next time. Bye.